Now, I'm going a little out of sequence with the textbook, but this is an example that I feel is kind of too important to wait because so far it seems like all of group theory is about numbers, but that's just not true. We have geometric examples of groups. So to begin with, let's consider an equilateral triangle with vertices A, B, C, and let's consider all possible symmetries of the triangle. So that's going to be transformations like rotations and reflections, which basically send the triangle back to the triangle. As a first example, we could consider rotating by 120 degrees. That'll send vertex A over to vertex B. It'll send vertex B to where C was, and then C over to where A was. You could do a 120 degree rotation again after that. That's equivalent to a 240 degree rotation. And again, it kind of cycles the vertices around. And you could do another rotation by 120 degrees after that, that would send all of the vertices back to where they came from. And technically we will consider that its own symmetry of the triangle.